The sculpture, named Life Monument, just arrived at the Church of San Marcella al Corso. As far as its sculptor, Timothy Schmalz, is aware, it is the only depiction of Jesus in fetus form in Rome and in the world. Right here in Rome, with a city that has more representations than Jesus than I think any other in the world, I do believe that this is the first representation of Jesus as a fetus. And so it's really exciting to kind of add this to the library of artwork here in the Eternal City. On Sunday, the sculpture was blessed by Vincenzo Paglia, president of the Pontifical Academy for Life. And on June 5th, a six-foot replica of the statue will be installed outside the United States Congress building. Without Schmalz proposing it, the image will arrive in the country at a critical moment. It's fascinating that right now, during this time, while the peace is being blessed, there's a dialogue in America and all over the world about when life exists. And so this sculpture, it's a persuasion to, to celebrate life and, and to state that human life is absolutely awesome and amazing, and we have to hold it as sacred. Timothy Schmalz rejects the idea of art for the sake of art. For him, the works have to speak to something, in this case, God. He has numerous sculptures in Rome and the Vatican, such as Homeless Jesus or Angels Unaware in St. Peter's Square. The Pope asked to contemplate it the last World Day of Migrants and Refugees. Invito a avvicinarvi a quel monumento là dove c'è il Cardenal Cerni, la barca con i migranti, e a soffermarvi sullo sguardo di quelle persone e cogliere in quello sguardo la speranza che oggi ha ogni migrante di ricominciare a vivere. A vivere. Andate là, vedete quel monumento. Non chiudiamo le porte alla loro speranza. The Canadian refuses to use his work to open a political debate. He believes that the real strength is to convince others it comes from beauty. The idea of, I think, that uh, people that really want to celebrate and promote life, they can't be angry. My sculpture isn't angry. My sculpture is a celebration. I think that hopefully when people see it, no matter what background, what, what philosophical stance they have, they'll have to step back and say, you know, that's beautiful. And if they're saying that's beautiful, what they're saying is life is beautiful. It is the bet that Timothy Schmalz has made for life, and he has committed to proving it to everyone by doing what he knows best, creating art that leaves those who contemplate them with their mouths open. Tell me to get to She could die at any moment. It was 2011. Ten years later, that medical diagnosis has not come true, thank God. It's all thanks to the intercession of John Paul II, who still helps others today. These cases are not the only ones. More than 15,000 testimonies of extraordinary favors attributed to Carol Wojtyla have reached the Vatican. Even a relic with a few drops of his blood gathers crowds in the streets and lead to countless new miracles. John Paul II is still alive.